Snorkel here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Call of Cthulhu. Where did we leave off? Well, the nice friendly cop broke us out of prison. Didn't break us out, sort of let us out. And apparently, everybody, not everybody, but most people, are being turned into Cthulhu loving zomboids. Not a good look. The, C the Cthulhu loving zomboids seem to really, really want all the non Cthulhu loving zomboids to be dead. So we had to sneaky sneak around and make our way to the whaling station. We're expecting to find Sarah Hawkins there. We're going to try to save her and bring her back to Boston. Not sure how successful we're going to be. But let's see what the whaling station has in store for us. Pierce crossed the docks where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After fighting his way through and discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. Saying we fought our way is not entirely accurate. We shot a bunch of zomboids. The shooting mechanic in this game can only be described as absolutely horrific. If you watched the last stream, there was one time when I, uh, there was a zomboid right in front of me. I had it pointed right at his face. He was less than two, three, maybe three or four feet away. Totally missed. It's a really, really appalling mechanic. Most of the time, though, we snuck around, avoided the zomboids. So I think we're out of zomboid territory. I don't think that we're going to see them again, hopefully. But... We are going to go into the whaling station. Before we do that, though, I don't think I've upgraded in a while, and I don't know how many points I have that I can stick in various things. I also don't know what I really need. So that's going to be very, very interesting. I'm really excited to see what's going on here. I will say, with all the stuff about the Leviathan, Old Levy have treated us fairly squarely. Now, granted, he's a Cthulhu-esque abomination. Let's see what the whaling station holds for us. Oh, that's a big boy of a pipe. What? Those bastards. I gotta find you quick. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know quite why you're talking that way. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> nope. Locked. Locked. Dang it. Let's see what we have here. Anything cool? Ooh, we can go down. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, let's go down. Oh, go down. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> I'm still getting space to... to, uh... slide down with my feet on the outside of the ladder. Ooh. Oh. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. Reservoir? Oh, that! Oh, we need to get through here, and we can't. Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Why? We've got to find a way to get through. Okay, why don't? <laughs> I mean, you you don't know that she was behind that huge door. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, there's another one down here. Oh, I probably should explore these. Okay. Oh, hello. Nope. There we go. Uh, another volume ooh. of the Reverend's wife's diary. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together for a final ceremony in honor of Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tried to escape. This is probably why her body was found in a cave under the mansion. Oh, that was what that body was. Okay, I was wondering about that. Let's see, anything else around here? Uh, 
Going back there. I want to be thorough. I have a tendency of really, really missing stuff. So make sure we're not missing anything. Is there anything else in there? There is not. Nothing else we can grab onto. Okay. Let's get that in here. Anything over here? Nope. Boy, these, they haven't been wayland in a while. Man. Nothing in there. <gasps> Hello, office. Okay. I didn't realize we needed an office key, but okay. Oh, hello. What's that? Fuller was a crew member, too. Wait. Interesting. Wait a minute. I thought Fuller was the captain. There's some mutiny going on. Yeah, I think Fuller's up to something, though, because we saw him arguing really dramatically with the evil German doctor. Let's see what this says. Wednesday, 23rd June, 1847. 33 north, 53 west. The morning is biting cold. This creature made us work hard. Half of my crew is dead. I've never seen such a thing. I don't even, do not even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside of our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not a whale. It's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. It practically gutted our ship with those tentacles. I don't know how. My harpoon finally pierced the skull of this monster. The crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but some will not recover. Okay. Uh, let me let me just put something out here. I so okay, so they went out there and they um were looking for a while. And they found this abomination. And they captured it. Does that sound realistic? You know, does that seem, that doesn't seem, I would think my first thought would be, it's a trick. Old Levy is playing a crazy trick. Where's this go? This goes up here. Oh, okay. I think Old Levy is playing a trick on these guys. And I don't think it's a very nice one, because, you know, Cthulhu Abomination, Lovecraftian Abomination, is that what they're called? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Hello. Let me in. Let's see what... Okay, hold on. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. It's sharp for no... Okay. He seems to have a plan, but he's not telling me what it is. Can, oh, I can open that too. What's this? Where's this go? Uh... Oh, back to the beginning. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. It mentions the Leviathan. How Page. The sailors mad. Page torn from log four. Friday 27th. Friday 27th, June, 1847. So this is a few days later. 37 North, 63 West. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmare city and of a sleeping god. Madness. I lock myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for too long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to, to, who tried to stop them to their new god. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their new god. I beseech you, almighty God, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Okay, so Levy, here's my thoughts on this. Oh, oh that doesn't look... Doesn't work. Yep. Uh, let's move this. Oh, hello. Hm. Okay. I guess we tie that rope to this thing and hope it holds. Doink. Mm -hmm. Hope you know a good knot. This should stop the cart from moving. Okay. This should help me get the tank swinging. Fair enough. Here we go. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Yeah, that crappy knife. Um, okay, that does not seem realistic. Those would not stretch like that. I do not think. 
I mean, look at that. But look, I'm no whaleologist. Ooh. Bam. Okay. Knock, knock. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Hold on. I was going to take a look at my character sheet. Let's see how we're doing. I've got, whoa, 17 points. So I maxed out on that. Maxed out on that. I have eloquence. What does strength do? Okay. Strength represents my ability to call on your physical pro power. Improving this skill increases your chance of forcing doors or mechanisms or of using violence during interactive discussions. Hmm. Psychology. Knowledge of human behavior. Let's, let's add some to psychology. Okay. Should we add some to strength? Why not? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. He's fine. Hmm. Let's see, we have four available points. Okay. And we can't do anything with that. And we can't do anything with that. How are we doing sanity-wise? Oh, look at that. We missed one, but we're... We are definitely Milky and the Filbert. Okay. Uh, let's see, we go down here. Let's see... What's in this whaling station? Oh, so here's my thoughts on this. I don't really think that a normal person can just, look at that, can just capture a cthulhu abomination. You know, that, I, like, as I've said before, I have not read uh, any H.P. Lovecraft. But I am familiar with it. And, and catching a can, oh dear. Uh, Levy, is that you? It is, isn't it? Oh, Leviathan. What have they done? You're still squiggling around. You're alive. Oh, Levy, what have you done? Oh, no, 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 no. Is that, that's parts of, oh, they're cutting parts of Levy off while he's still alive. Oh, this is not going to end well for these people. I think I want to stay away from Levy. Anything over here? No. It seems like getting too close to a Lovecraftian abomination is not a smurfy idea. But, um, yeah. That's, that's, that's Levy. Okay. Oh, what's that? No. That voice. Hey, Levy. You're the Leviathan. Yeah, you're Le Oh, Levy, I'm sorry what happened, buddy. I know you're probably pure evil, but I'm really sorry. That sucks. Oh, hi, Sarah. What's up? Uh-oh. Did I die? No, I can still hear my heart beat. Go, oh, game saved. <gasps> um... Oh, I'm controlling the character. Okay. Hello. 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 Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. Who is that voice? Oh wait, it's our voice. <laughs> I, I missed that totally. Oh my gosh, it's our voice. Okay, I completely missed that. I'm an idiot. Leads us inevitably to solitude. And in one's final moments, one is always alone. Okay. You can't escape it forever. This seems ominous. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. What the? Oh, fine, I'll go out. Oop. Wait, what? Wait. How? I don't... Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Yoink. Um, Levy's playing tricks. He's such a trickster. He's a little prankster. Actually, he's a big boy. Okay, so now I understand why they call him the Leviathan. 
Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship. When they probably killed the captain. When Levy appeared to me initially, he was in the sort of representation of a shortish man. He's, he's not a shortish man. He's a he's a big boy. Let's see what this says. This is Thursday, 25th of June. So this is we've re, we've heard two. This one's right in between. 35 North, 59 West. Fitzroy encouraged the men all day. They're in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turn mad. Some of them hunt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them or hurt themselves. Others choose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in his biblical nature. I told him to get rid of it before it's too late. This thing is not the work of God. It depends. Eh. Mm. According to Lovecraft, I mean, maybe. <laughs> okay. What could use that? I can't pick it up, though. Darn it. Oh, hello. Excision of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today the vocabulary has changed, but the method's a little less true story. I knew a guy who trepanned himself. Everything points back to the day they brought him. All right, he didn't actually tree pen himself. He went to Mexico to have a sketchy merchant doctor trip and tre perform trepanation on him, but uh, yeah. Okay, that's the crew. Anything back here? Oh, all right, well. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, Levy, Levy is a big boy. Oh, Levy. Yeah. Let's, let's, I'm sorry, Levy. Like I said, I know you're a poor old Lovecraftian abomination, but I am really sorry. Eat his flesh while he's still alive. Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a nice looking cleaver. Huh. Yeah, poor Levy. Again, though, I'm not sure it is poor Levy. Oh, hello. I'm not sure it is poor Levy. I think, um... I, I suspect that he is, uh, he's playing the long game here, because I, I don't think you can do that <laughs> to a Cthulhuian abomination. Now oh, it's, uh, can I, oh, I can, okay. Wait, don't, no, don't, no, don't, don't, oh, okay. Um, probably not smartest move. Yep, yep, keep going, buddy. We gotta get around. Levy's messing with us. I mean, he might not be on purpose. I think that's just how he rolls, you know. But yeah, this is not. This is not going well. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Let's open this up and get out of here. Ooh. Don't forget to replace it. <laughs> He's so thoughtful. Oh, it's we're on the other side. Okay. Can we open this up now? We get lost. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hold on. Nope. The door is blocked on the other side. Okay, Sarah, I know how this goes now. I'm going to walk up to you. Levy, being the prankster that he is, is going to send me somewhere else and some weird thing. So, okay. I don't even know if you're actually here. No, no, uh, okay. Oh, great. We're back here. Okay, I know this is just, you know, a cthulhu whatever, but fine. I'll check the door, can't get out. Oh, look, it's creepy weirdo doctor. I, his glasses are pretty dope, though. Ah, finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller, son of a bitch, I'll kill you. you talk is big, buddy. You had your chance. I'm not even really with you. Yeah. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. 
but not in this cell. <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, this is all this is all Levy's work. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Yeah. Uh, Leviathan. <laughs> I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Great. Ooh. What's this? No, I'm not going to take it. No, I said no. I said no. What the heck? That's okay. That's weird. I, I said no. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> it's going to be like that, is it, Levy? No. Oh, yeah. Look, guys. Do you know how weird this is? Like, seriously. Do you look? I don't. Look, guys. Come on. Really? I mean, you, oh. God. I'm gonna don't eat it. He's gonna pick up the meat and eat it. Yeah. yeah. How's it taste? Mmm, Cthulhu. -y. Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Nope. Hard pass. I created the mythological eye core from Leviathan's flesh. Ooh. Who knows what I can make with you? Yeah. I need your body for my research. Hmm. All right. I'm going to say, like the last two times, pick up the gun. Don't, don't take it. Oh, that's weird. It's not letting me select that. That's odd. Oh, it's not let me get out of it either. Oh, it's not let me select anything. Oh, that's odd. Weird. Uh, one moment, please. For this, for this choice only. Uh, let me put in a controller and just see if I can make it select it. That's really weird. Okay, see if that'll work. There we go. Yeah, that was really odd. Um, I was... Oh, good. Necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. Well, I mean, I... I, I should have killed him before. Nope. <laughs> God darn it. <laughs> So, I'm going to find the truth and be free next time. Listen, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this content, maybe click that subscribe button. Tell a friend about my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. We're going to find the truth next time. See you then. <laughs>